Researchers at Alan Seitel's lab at UC San Diego were looking at the way cells store and burn energy. They hypothesized that shutting down a molecule called RAL A in lab mice would cause their cells to burn less energy. Therefore, more fat would be stored and more weight would be gained. So when we made the mice and looked at them, we saw something that was kind of shocking. We saw the opposite effect. They found those mice became much more efficient at burning fat and controlling weight. And then we, we put these mice on high-fat diet for a long time, and we noticed that they didn't gain weight like normal mice do on high-fat diet. Saltiel says it was one of those hypothetical mistakes that led to a valuable discovery, that RAL A in its natural state was helping the body store fat. In a sense, it was causing obesity. It's been shown that the more overweight a person gets, the more difficult it is to lose weight, a classic case of adding insult to injury. The difficulty losing weight is also due in part to another discovery of Saltiel's lab. With obesity, a cell's mitochondria literally break into smaller pieces, making them less able to burn energy. Saltiel says he believes our body's focus on protecting fat stores is a throwback to ancestral days when food could be very hard to come by. We are very efficient at storing energy because we think a famine is right around the corner. Getting back to the present time, Saltiel's lab has identified a target, RAL A, and they've created a RAL inhibitor to deactivate it, causing mice on high fat diets to not gain weight. It doesn't take a lot of imagination to wonder if shutting down a human's RAL A functions could do the same thing and help cure their obesity. Saltiel says it's not a crazy idea, but mice aren't people, and it's hard to know if giving this stuff to people is a good idea. No clear idea that it's safe, okay. but we don't have an idea that it isn't safe, so we, it's one of those things we would have to investigate. Clinical trials on live humans are not on the horizon, but Saltiel says they're starting to experiment on human tissues. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.